In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily create a uniform layout for your pages by making use of background pages. I'm going to illustrate this by adding a blank page. And on this blank page, I'm going to create a page for an office. Let's use this neutral gray background. I'm going to add a company logo. And let's say I want to have some text. Our new office building. And then I'm going to add a picture of that new office building right here. And that's my first page. Great. Now let's say I want to add another page that has the same uh, layout with the same background and specifically the same logo as well. I can create a completely new page and do the same things that I did before, but it's easier if I can have a background page that I could use in all other pages. So how do I do this? Let's say I'm going to copy this and I'm going to rename this to background so that I can easily find that later on. And I'm going to edit that, removing the foreground images from here our foreground elements. So that's removing the image and removing the text and leaving the things that I want to have in background on all other pages. I'm going to save this, I'm going to go back and then to that one page that I created before where I can remove everything from the background with the logo and the background image. And then I can select uh, press this button, page settings, and you can see that the page properties, it says that it has no background page. But by pressing change, I can set a big background page. In this case, the one that I just created. And there you go. I have this page that uses another page as its background. So now it's really easy to create a second page that looks just like the first one. Let's say I'll do that. Uh, I want to start with that background. Again, I press page settings and here I press change. And there I have my background. And now I can add anything to that background. Let's say San Francisco weather, Fahrenheit. Oh, let's refresh that. Okay. Now, if I press save, you'll see that I have two pages with the same uniform layout. And I can add those to a playback sequence. And when I preview them, you will see that the background will stay neatly put where the foreground images transition from one to the other. There you go. Now another big advantage of using backgrounds is that you can easily uh, change the layout of all the pages simply by changing that one background page. So say I don't like this background image, but I want to change that with a wood image. There you go. Then you'll see that by doing that, it will change the background of all other pages as well. And another neat feature is that if you have a moving background, let's say this is not a static image, but this is a video, for example. I'm going to Add this Vimeo, Vimeo video. Let's see if this works. Yep, it starts playing. Now when playing, when we play this back, when we play these uh, pages back, you'll see that it will neatly transition from a one page to the other. Yep, here we go. Whereas the background just keeps playing on, playing the video. So here's the video. And when it transitions into the next, the next page, you'll see that the video keeps on playing. So you can do nice things with that. And one last thing I'd like to show you is that you can also, you don't have to have, uh, uh, a page doesn't have to have just one background page. It can use another background page, which in turn uses another background page. So let's say that I want to add on top of this weather page. Then what I can do is set that weather page as a background page. There we 
we go. And then I'm going to add some text here. Weather in San Francisco. Set that to white. Here we go. And now if I add this to the playlist, let's see what, how that looks. Press preview. And that's the first page. You see it will transition into the weather forecast and then it will transition into the next page. And so here we have multiple background page layers, if you like. And this is what you can do with background pages, which is a really powerful feature. Well, have a, have a go at it yourself. If you have any questions, please uh, contact us via the website or via email. We'll be very uh, looking forward to hearing from you. Good luck with it.